When you win the prize that you've been dreaming about your whole life, what happens next? I took my passion for motor racing as a gamer from Brisbane, Australia to being one of the select few to take part and compete in a Nissan GD Academy program. That wasn't the end of my story, that was just the beginning. Hi Matt, I uh, thought we'd find some time to catch up, so you've been pretty busy, so talk us through what you've been doing. We've just been everything you can think of, um, racing every weekend. Uh, every time we're not in a race car, we're, we're in the gym or on the simulator. Over the last sort of month or so, I've really seen my development um, shine in the weekends that I've had my racing. Has it been what you expected? I think it's just the support around you. I think it's, it's unbelievable the resources they have available to you is what surprised me the most. The amount of people that they have by your side that are wanting to get the best out of you is, is what's unbelievable. From the beginning, my first goal was to achieve a spot in the GD Academy National Final, uh, to then move to the Silverstone International GD Academy Race Camp and win that, and then to move into the GD Academy program where I'd be working hard to get a spot in the Dubai 24 hour 2016. What we wanted to talk to you about uh, today is uh, about next year. We're actually going to skip the Dubai 24 hour and next year uh, you'll be uh, competing in the Blank Pony Endurance Series in Europe uh, <laughs> through the full season in a GTR, Nismo GT3 and visiting circuits like Monza, uh, Nürburgring, Paul Ricard, Silverstone and Spa. Oh, got me crying again on camera. Oh, that's unbelievable, thank you. I think it's a testament to not only the program itself, but the way that you've gone about it, that this was even a consideration for us and for the program. That's awesome, thank you. I thought it was just a normal call, talking to Richard Emery, the CEO of Nissan Australia. It was an opportunity to let him know of everything that I've been achieving and progressing in the program. And then it was one massive shock. Uh, the emotions that filled me was unbelievable and uh, and it was just a dream come true at that point to think that I'm going to be definitely racing next year and in the car that I would only dream of racing. The last two and a half months I've been in UK, a part of the GD Academy Nissan program, and my life has been motorsport. I've lived and breathed it. Everything from training, sleeping, eating, racing, everything physically and mentally, I've just been getting myself trained to be ready for the world of motorsport. It was an eye-opening experience to be living in a whole new world and new food, new people, new roads, everything and it was a, it was a dream and an opportunity. Good, keep going. I trained hard getting to the program but once we were there it was a whole new level. We were put through our paces with our VO2 max and BATAC and learning everything cardiovascular and cardio training for us to be as fit as possible for when we were in a race car. Initially you had um, quite a good cardiovascular fitness so we wanted to work on developing his strength endurance so we wanted to increase his lean muscle tissue so through diet and the correct training which has increased quite a bit already but we want to keep pushing that further. We're trying to make sure we're eating healthy every meal of the day and trying to get everything that we need, all of our nutrition. Well, nutrition is a massive part of of being healthy and being physically fit for um, being in racing. So for me, I hadn't done too much with it. So uh, this was always going to be a, a new chapter and something new to learn as part of the program. And we got access to the Nismo lab and their simulator. And that was just a whole new level to what I had at my setup at home and to have that as a preparation for each race weekend was paramount for us to be prepared well. We're starting to get the guys to drive for much longer sessions, so whereas historically we drive for 15, 20 minutes and look at the telemetry, we're now focusing on one hour, one hour, 15, 
length stints to see and ensure that they can drive consistently over a much longer period, which is a, a skill in itself. Psychology and training your mind is something that really was eye-opening to me. Um, we had Chris from Chimp Management talking to us all about our chimp, which is our inner drive, and it's all about us controlling that so we can get the best out of ourselves and ultimately be positive, and if we're positive, we race better. Your starting point is far better than anybody else's, but you've just got lucky. It's a weird thing in psychology where you just naturally and instinctively do things well. You, your, your, your human is in charge the vast majority of the time, because as much um, as your thinking is human orientated and centered, you've still got an ambitious, competitive chimp in there that is driving and driving and driving behavior. You wouldn't be sat here in the first place if you didn't have one. Not the fact you don't have a chimp, it's just you just manage it better. Turn, straight, power. Exaggerate it to start with, and let's see where we go. Driver coaching is by far the best part of the whole program. We have them sitting in our passenger seat uh, while we're driving in all these different cars that they have available to us, and they're giving us direct feedback so we can learn straight away on track what we need to improve on. Monday to Friday, week to week, that's what we're doing. Uh, but then we get to the best part of the whole week, and that's the weekend where we get to hop in our race cars and go all over the UK, uh, driving around amazing tracks and learning everything we want to do. Okay, so if you look at the position of the white line here, yep. you're going for the apex a little bit too late, it looks like to me. As our program has been progressing on the weekends, uh, our competition has been getting harder. Our cars have been going from slower to faster, uh, and the challenge has been greater every weekend to push ourselves to learn the most we can out of the program. Well done, second win of the day for Matthew Simmons. Well done, Matthew. We got to drive some amazing cars, but nothing came close to the Nissan GDR, Nismo GD3 that I got to drive. It was a 2015 championship winning car from the Blanc Pond Endurance Series. There's so many words that it's, it's impossible to describe how amazing that car was. The grip, the speed, the power, it was everything I dreamed of and more and it was just an incredible opportunity for me to get behind something that a lot of people don't get to drive and then to be able to go out there and, and drive it to the limits was just an experience that will hold me for the rest of my life. The Nissan Driver Development Program is exactly that, it's developing the driver and it's everything, it's so professional, it's so intense but they know exactly how to get the best out of you. And if you're willing to learn and you're willing to push yourself, um, the sky's the limit, and that's exactly what this program achieves. It's insane to even believe where I am now. Six months ago, I was a postie. Uh, this was all a dream for me, and it was one big goal and now I can wake up and proudly say that I've achieved that goal and I'm, I'm a professional racing car driver and uh, that's all I've ever wanted and to think I've achieved that um, has been an amazing dream come true and I just can't wait to see where this journey takes me. It's, it's a unique program and it's proven before that they can produce Nismo athletes and world-class athletes and I get that opportunity to be able to be a part of that and that's everything I've wanted and I'm just going to keep driving and pushing to be better so I can be that inspiration in years to come for Australia and the world. So what happens next? The Block Pine GT Endurance Series has the best drivers, the best tracks and the best manufacturers in the GT racing world and I'm in it. <laughs>